the lovies and happy Halloween. Um, today I wanted to share something with you. Um, it's, it's not a piece of my art, but it is uh, a creative endeavor. Every year I do an apothecary shop for my Halloween decor. And I wanted to um, inventory it because I wanted to remember how I bottled up some of the stuff. And I thought I would share it with you because it's really fun for me. So um, let's go ahead and start. We've got a swamp lizard and skunk oil. I didn't even know skunk oil was that color, but my son did the liquids this year, so that's what color it is. Um, this is some Dead Sea salt that one of my dear friends, um, Scott, went to the Dead Sea and harvested himself and brought it back for me. We've got here, we've got a piece of salt, a piece of petrified wood, and an oyster shell that has been um, soaked in borax to make crystals. Is that focusing? There we go. So that's pretty fun. Um, gargoyle, I love gargoyles. Graveyard dust, which is of course just dust from my yard that I had Simon run out and get. Um, these crystal skull vases were on sale this year at Michael's for like two bucks. This is a petrified pumpkin. Um, it's just from back in my pottery days, I made it. It's actually one of the first things I ever made and I really, really love it. Um, this is a Harry, Harry Potter reference, a bezoar stone. It grows in the I forget if it's the stomach or the gallbladder of a goat and it's supposed to cure any poison. Uh, we have pickled mice. Um, anytime you see like a rubber animal, it's from like the first year we did this. Um, pretty much everything else is just stuff we have around our house because that's how we are. This one's really cool. It's quartz sourced from the Fields of Mars in the Percy Jackson books. Um, the Fields of Mars are located in the Bay Area and he's really specific about where he how he describes the locations. And the location for the Field of Mars in Camp Jupiter, that's my family's ranch, and there's a quartz mine there. So that's my fun piece of quartz that I just found on a walk out there one day. I think it's really pretty. Uh, we have gnome skulls. Uh, this is an old, oh, my books have fallen. This is an old, just an old book that I painted. Um, this is actually my magn magnifying glass. It's out all year, and I just love it. This is a package of soap that was in a bunch of stuff I inherited from my grandpa. Um, I don't know like how far back that goes, but I think it's beautiful. These are just some cool um, like centers of some flowers that I found one day on a walk. I have a, um, I have a bowl that I keep in one of my cupboards that I have year round. I'm just going to show you stuff that doesn't need explaining. Um, that um, whenever during the year I see something that I'm like, ooh, that would be really cool in the apothecary shelf, I'll take it and dry it and clean it and just keep it in that bowl for until, until Halloween comes around. So things like whiskers that my cat sheds, stuff like that. This is a newspaper plate. It's for printing in newspapers. It's an old church building. I have no idea where. Again, it was in that stuff I inherited from my grandpa. There's a mortar and pestle because every good apothecary has to have one of those. Um, and again, it's from my pottery days. This is actually part of Simon's costume this year. It's a um, hand drill and it's old and it's rusty and we just thought it was awesome. Let's see, we've got, <laughs> this is the borax solution. I just needed somewhere to put it and thought it looked cool. Salt rock lamp. These are just feathers that we have found throughout the years. Um, it says hipp hippogriff. Pegasus and others. Um, it's uh, there's. I don't know if my pelican feathers in there. I don't think so. I've got pelican, turkeys, pheasants, geese, just whatever we found. Um, little ping pong eyeballs, which is brew. This one is fun. My unicorn horn. This is actually the jawbone or half the jawbone of a pelican, um, and I'll show you the rest of the skull in a sec. But we just soaked it in that borax and super saturated it, so we've got big old crystals on there. A crystal ball that's a bottom from a music, uh, what do you call it, a snow globe. And then that's a light fixture thing. I was really selective about what books I left open, so we've got the zombie survival guide there. Wishes, these are just wishbones from chickens and turkeys we've eaten, and again, it goes into that little bowl in the cupboard. I love the bored gargoyle. Bat's blood. These are fun. This is a nest we found on a walk. And then there's um, a little egg that we found in our yard. 
and which I, I love that egg because you can see that the baby was born and came out just fine. And then there's a skull that Dan found when he was cleaning the gutters. And uh, he sent my son running in with it and I was so excited and my mother-in-law was so grossed out. <laughs> uh, pyrite, my son Simon and I both, wow, that's not focusing, let's try again. Simon and I both collect rocks and, and these, this is his pyrite collection. Uh, this is an angel wish, angel wing generator. So that's a reference as well to uh, It's a Wonderful Life. This is my favorite gargoyle. I was going to turn it, but then I realized you can't. He's, that's me, if I were a gargoyle. Just feathers from our yard. This is a dragonfly that was old and it was dying and it came over and just landed next to me and passed away. And so I took him home and put him in there. We've got amethyst. We've got, again, chicken and turkey bones sea sponge, a salt cellar that was a gift I gave my grandmother a long time ago and then when she passed away I got it back so it's special. Uh, we have another little book that I painted. It's Simple Little Spells. This is a little piece of coral that was in, um, somebody gave me a whole bunch of um, beads and it was in there. So left pinky toe, species unknown. This is the one where Quinn told me I'd gone too far, but I don't care. I love it. Um, again, just a bottle. These are old bottles that I used for cooking wine. Um, some more petrified wood. We've got some quartz crystals. Um, this is some coral from Hawaii that it just, it looks like a little brain. It's so amazing. So it is um, cere Cerebrum Nymphorum Desiccated Fairy Brain. Fossilized spider legs. That's more of the coral from that um, that bag of beads that somebody gave me. We've got moon dust and it's glitter. There's my cat's whiskers and it's uh, werewolf whiskers. Um, that's actually just a mango seed. Like I said, anything that we see around that we're like, ooh, that would look cool. Um, this is supposed to be labeled, but it's not. It's uh, horns of assorted beasts and uh, it's just pumpkin stems. That is cypress. Uh, Cypress something salt. It's this really cool salt that has this amazing pyramid structure. That's dish soap. There's some more coral. Just water and I think Simon put sesame seeds in that one so it's got little nasty floaters. Um, there's another crystal ball. Um, again, that's salt that we use. That's Aaliyah salt from Hawaii. That's hair from our dog. Uh, water. Oh, this one was fun. These are mouse tails. They really look like mouse tails, but they're, um, it's just the craft moss that comes like when you get a plant from the florist. That is another Hawaiian salt. The seahorse tails, it's um, just little bits of dehydrated onion. This one, it's plastic cockroaches and oh, they're so realistic. It made me like want to barf when I was filling it. Um, this is just a cool rock that I found on the beach and it's got a lot of little crystal geodes. That's actually a salt called Fleur de Hell and it's delicious. Um, Vampire Fangs wishes, or wisdom, it looks empty but it's got like two white hairs from me. <laughs> um, that's another salt. Uh, uh, we got orange zest, that is lotion and food coloring and it's so much grosser in person. There's pixie dust, because uh, anybody who knows me knows I have my pixie dust. Um, and then to be a good witch, you gotta have your witch's hat. Um, there's a pumpkin that I made back in my pottery days. Please focus. Why aren't you focusing? Um, the skull with the romance novel, that's also a reference to um, the Dresden Files, which is a book that I really love. Well, a group of books that I really love. Oh, come on, baby. Focus. And then we've got a cross stitch that I did. Oh, the romance novel is totally fake. It's not, I, we don't have any romance novels, so I had to print up for the love of Scotty McMullet. Uh, and the rest of my dried onions were there, but Dan cooked them this morning. Uh, and then we've just got some of our books that we just have, uh, Dragons and Unicorns and Dragons. Um, this is that pelican skull. We were on a walk on the beach and we just, there was a dead pelican. And that's the nastiest thing I've ever cleaned. It was so gross, but it's really, really cool. Got a fossilized fish, the monster makers, Edgar Allan Poe, that's another book I um, painted for spells. Um, lavender, petrified wood, corks. Let's see. Oh, that's just bouillon, the arsenic. Um, this is again with the borax, so that's my little magic wand. Bat wings, 
toad bladders. That's just styrofoam. Um, coral that I found on the beach at Hawaii. Another gargoyle. Another the geode. I love this one. This is actually um, my great grandpa was in the newspaper. I don't know if you can read. Portrait of a Spectre. Uh, he was in the newspaper, and that's the newspaper block they used, and then they gave it back to him, and I think it looks super cool. Uh, this one is Courage, and it's Backbones. So it's just literally fish and chicken vertebrae. I know it's kind of gross, but unless you're a vegan, I don't want to hear it. Uh, there's some seaweed and a rock and flowers from our garden. Oh, this is funny. I have a neighbor who really likes bourbon, and he buys bourbon in such cool bottles. I don't drink alcohol, but I will admit that on recycling day, I check out his bin, and sometimes I steal stuff because, you know, we classy like that. <laughs> and then I've got one last seashell with borax on it and another crystal ball. But that's my apothecary cabinet, and we've got some uh, just candles and ravens and stuff. And every year I add a few more bottles and bits and bobs and it just makes me really really happy so I hope you enjoyed this and have a very happy happy Halloween